So as many of you know, we went on vacation recently into the Outer Banks and we chose uh, to go through Virginia and Virginia Beach because we love going in the tunnel there at the Chesapeake Bay because there you go under the ocean. Um, the uh, bridge leads you to a tunnel where you drive under the ocean for so long uh, until you get out on the other side and you drive on the bridge for a little while. A while. Uh, but it's amazing as you begin to um, uh, encounter this tunnel, it, there's warning signs to let you know, look, you know, you're on a road to where you cannot turn around, you cannot go backwards. Once you uh, hit, the, begin this path, there's no going back, there's no turning around. You must go forward, you must press through this tunnel to get to the other side. Hi, I'm Shauna, my husband Pete and I are Galahi Family Discipleship. We're both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we invite you into our home every day to do Bible study. This week we are in Hebrews chapter 6, and uh, we're going to discuss verses 4 through 6 today. Um, they are pretty sensitive verses, uh, a lot of debate throughout the years on what they really mean, and, and uh, whether or not they substantiate a falling away or a backsliding. Um, we're going to discuss those. Um, I'm going to read them and we'll get started. It says, It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the Word of God and the powers of the coming age, and who have fallen away to be brought back to repentance. To though to their loss, they are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subjecting Him to public disgrace. So the scripture is talking about people who have known, encountered, uh, served Jesus, and they fall away. And how is that even possible? How is it possible to know God and then um, encounter God and uh, you be used in uh, the gifts of God, and then you simply just turn your back on God as though He never existed, as no, as though He was never there, as though He never impacted your life. Um, it says that um, <clears throat> that to be brought back to a to repentance, <clears throat> that uh, it would be like Jesus being crucified all over again, a public disgrace. Um, you know, the writer of Hebrews here is um, really letting the um, Hebrew Christians know that, look, there is such a need for maturity. We talked about that in, in chapter 5. There is such a need for maturity. You can't stay on the milk. Uh, you have to continually go forward uh, because if you don't, Satan will sur surely, surely um, be triumphant in snatching you away. It's important for you to continue to grow in Christ, to continue to, to move toward the high call uh, that is in you through Christ Jesus. It is important to continue to... Um, on that path that God set for you, just like we were talking about that tunnel, and I'll put a picture of that uh, tunnel in the comments, but just like we talked about that tunnel, there's no turning back. You know, once you get on that road, once you know that your destination, where it is, what it is, there's no turning back. You can't turn around. Um, you can't stop what everybody else is doing. You can't stop the way that life is, is taking you and say, okay, I just quit. I just give up. Um, honestly, to taste and see the Lord and know that He is good, to experience um, true salvation through Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know how anyone can then turn around and say there is no God or there never was um, a relationship. That A lot of times there was uh, maybe some false conversions where people were simply playing religion. Um, and unfortunately, I think that it happens quite often. There's no repentance. Um, there's no humbling. There's no moving of the Holy Spirit um, on people's lives because simply they do not allow him to. Uh, it's like the seed falling on the rocks. Uh, it never, uh, never got rooted in and it was scorched away by the wickedness of the world. Let's be Christians who mature. Let's be 
those who have our ear towards sound doctrine and allow the Holy Spirit to work through us. Let's be those who have people who are holding us accountable, um, who are saying, I'm sorry for what I've done, who uh, understand and know the price and the cost of the grace that God gives us. It is through and by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, let's continue every day to live intentionally for Christ and not look back. We want to remind you that every day that you exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Let others know about that path that God set before them. Until next time, God bless.